All right, what is happening? Good morning. It's actually quite early here in Sydney. I thought I'd get up and do this tutorial this morning. Haven't even had a coffee yet, so I'll try and keep it short and sweet. What is up? If you are new here, I'm photographer TK North. Thanks so much for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to post these landscape images in a carousel on Instagram. Now, I find this kind of a fun and interesting way to share your landscape images on Instagram. It means they take up a little bit more screen if you're posting them four by five. So it's kind of a nice way to view them as well. Depending on the subject and what's in the frame, it can also be a really interesting way to swipe across these images. Now, the thing with this, there's actually heaps of different ways you can do it. The most important thing is to make sure it lines up exactly when you're posting it to Instagram. So I'm gonna show you how I do it using Lightroom and Photoshop. And then I'll show you another way if you don't have Photoshop you could use just Lightroom or anything where you can crop photos. So let's get down and dirty in under five minutes. So with Lightroom open, of course, the first thing you wanna do is pick an image, a nice landscape image that you think would work well split. The important thing you need to know when you're cropping these, especially if you're posting to four by five, is the ratio. So if you're posting these two images, four by five on Instagram, essentially the ratio is now going to be eight by five, two four by five images side by side. So let's go into crop. You can just hit R on Lightroom to crop, but I'm gonna come down to 16 by 10, which of course is the same as eight by five. So let's click on that. Now I use this center cut overlay when cropping images like this. So to scroll through your different overlays, when you're in crop mode, just hit O and you'll see all these different overlays. For this one, I want the centered one because it means I can see exactly where that first image is going to start and end, and same with the second image. So for this one, I'm gonna move it up just so the castle is reasonably centered in the frame. And you can see there, that's going to be the first frame, that will be the second frame. Now, the next step for me is I actually just save it in Photoshop, which is a really easy step. So I'm gonna right click on the image and then go edit in Photoshop. So once your image is in Photoshop, this is a really advanced technique. All I'm going to do is hit save. Of course, you can export from Photoshop and just split it in half in Photoshop, but I find this is the quickest, easiest way for me. Once you hit save, that image is actually going to open back up in Lightroom. You can see there I've got the TIFF version and then the other version. So the reason I prefer to use Photoshop like this, largely because when you save these TIFF files, it opens straight back into Lightroom. I like to do all my exports from Lightroom. I use a little export preset and it will also keep them all in the same folder. So for me, I just find it a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier to do it this way. The reason I do this, if you've got the original image and you're trying to line it up exactly to crop, is going to be nearly impossible. Once your image is exactly eight by five, you can then just crop to the edges. So come down to four by five. I'm gonna come all the way, make sure I've got the full height, bring it all the way to the left. There's my first image to export. So I can go ahead and hit export, export that one. And then I would do exactly the same to the other side of the frame. Export. And then if I have a look, I've got my carousel post there ready to go. So let's jump across to one more image and I'll show you another technique you can do. So I think this one will look nice split down the middle. Let's just pop a preset on, brighten it up a little bit. Probably bring that a little bit towards blue. All right, so again, crop to 16 by 10 or eight by five. So come down. Now for this one, I wanna split kind of the subject right down the middle, but I wanna keep all of her face on the left of the image. So when you swipe across in that first frame, you'll see all of the face. So done. Again, I'm just going to come down to edit in Photoshop. So for this image, I'm also going to add a little bit of a white border around it. So you can do this just by extending that a little bit and I'll keep that same ratio. So it's still going to be eight by five. Hit yes. And then I'm just gonna hit save as well. So once I've saved that, it should reappear back in Lightroom. So here's my image with a slight border. Again, I'm just gonna crop that to four by five on either side. Boom. Export. Boom. 
export with boom. And again, I should have my carousel post there with a slight bit of border. Now, very quickly, I want to show you how you can do this without using Photoshop as well. So the quickest way to do this for me, I would usually just crop the image again, 16 by 10, eight by five, crop your image, export it quite large. So I'm gonna go and export that full JPEG. Now, once you've exported that eight by five, you just need to bring it into any application that you can easy crop four by five. So of course, I could even just bring that exported file back into Lightroom. import and then I could just crop it that way as well export in exactly the same way of course you could do this on your phone if you crop and export that original image 8 by 5 then just crop either side right to the edge making sure it's the full height however you do this just make sure that it does line up perfectly that's the key to making sure you do this properly so thanks for getting down and dirty in this fast tutorial i hope you did find it useful remember to subscribe if you did find this video useful for you plenty more where that came from i'm tk north see you here very soon bye for now hmm did i make under five minutes maybe a little bit over but hopefully it was all right bye